Now, I just did a video regarding the R. Kelly situation about is R. Kelly's career is over. That was the title of the video. Now, after the Lifetime documentary, everybody, the women came out, talked about R. Kelly's situation. Now, I didn't see four or six parts of the documentary. I saw bits and pieces. I saw bits and pieces of interviews because, to me, I don't need to see the whole thing. Okay. But... Now R. Kelly is being investigated after the midst of the whole controversial documentary and everything and people speaking out against him. So I'm going to read you the news article on it and then I'm going to come back with my thoughts. So this is according to TMZ. R. Kelly is being criminally investigated in Georgia because of the three-part documentary series which sent shockwaves throughout audiences when it's ripping and harrowing recounts of R. Kelly's sexual abuse told by seven alleged survivors over the last 20 plus years. Fulton County District Attorney's Office reportedly opened an investigation into the allegations made against the singer and surviving R. Kelly shortly after the first episode aired on Lifetime Thursday, January 3rd. The office was also reportedly flooded with calls from people with their own stories, which is said to have also encouraged them to begin their investigations. Investigators have reportedly already started reaching out to several survivors featured in the docuseries, including Asante McGee, who claimed that she was one of the ignition singer's sex slaves, Jocelyn Savage's family, who believe the 23-year-old is currently being held against her will by R. Kelly, has also been contacted by authorities and are said to be fully cooperating. Both Asante and Jocelyn's family were recently targeted in a since-deleted Facebook page called Surviving Lives. The page's, perfectly, page's purpose was to discredit and expose Kelly's acu accusers. However, days after the page popped up attacking the young woman, the social media site announced that they shut down the page. And then this is a quote. It says, the page violated our community standards and has been removed. Facebook spoke, spokesperson told TMZ, we do not tolerate bullying or sharing others' private contact information and take action on content that violates our policies as soon as we're aware, Facebook stepped in after an alleged texting conversation between Kelly and one of his accusers was shared on the site in an attempt to discredit her claims against the 50-year-old singer. The Facebook page, which had more than 5,000 followers before it was removed, linked to a YouTube video that Kelly and or someone in his team allegedly put out to contradict, contradict Asante's story. In a nearly 30-minute video, Asante's alleged daughter and boyfriend both debunk her claims of sexual abuse at the hands of Kelly in a leaked but unverified phone conversation. The Facebook page also listed Asante's arrest history and claimed she's working with Jocelyn's father to extort money from Kelly. Now, let me say something about this. And this is ironic because the same thing happened with Michael Jackson. Because as you can recall, this thing is back 2003, 2004. The series called Living with Michael Jackson came out on British television, aired on ABC. And they had accusers. And after the interview that Michael Jackson said it was okay for children to sleep in his bed together, children... Those children came out against Jackson and, you know, accused him of sexual molestation and other crimes. Jackson was then arrested and was tried but was not convicted. As you know, Jackson died June 25th, 2009 at the age of 50, the same age as R. Kelly right now. Now, as I said in my last video. If R. Kelly did something that was wrong, if he was having sex with underage girls, because he didn't call it rape, it wasn't rape, it was having sex with underage girls, he should be punished, and he should get whatever punishment has come to him. But as I said before, his team should have stepped in and got him some help. 
as I said before, because, you know, like I said, this man is no hero to nobody from the stuff that he's done. He's no hero. And he was, you know, tried for urinating on a underage girl before uh, several years back, but he was found not guilty. But here's the thing that I'm going to say. If you're going to try Michael Jackson, if you're going to try Bill Cosby, if you're going to try R. Kelly, then why not try Stephen Collins? Why not try Harvey Weinstein? Okay? Why not try other, you know, white alleged accusers? That That's what I'm saying. Because you have all these Caucasian uh, accusers out there with, you know, sexual you know, misconduct, uh, huge sexual assault on women, they should be tried too. Okay? If you're going to be fair, be fair to everybody. That's what I'm saying. But I knew this was going to happen because it was bound to happen. Now, some people, people are divided upon this, saying that people trying to extort money from R. Kelly People are saying that it's all lies and everything. And you have people divided on this. And like I said, I've seen on Facebook that, you know, no matter what, I've, I've, like I said, I've seen people on Facebook saying, no matter what he does, I'm still going to be a diehard fan. I'm still going to support him. Like I said, you should never condone any of that. And you should not be advocating a man to do something like that. Not at all. Okay. That's sick. And I will never be okay with it. I don't care how good the man's music is. I don't care if he makes... And the man can sing. The man's got a nice voice. Good singer. I like his music. Everybody liked his music. We all grew up with his music. So I'm not taking nothing away from that. But at the same time, you have to have some morals. At the end of the day. Okay? You had somebody forge Aaliyah's birthday to make it seem like she was 18 when she was 15, but the father had that marriage annulled. I did not agree with that at all. That was wrong. What are you doing marrying a 15-year-old girl and you're 25 years old? I, I didn't I didn't agree with that. Because 69, 94, he was 25 years old, she was 15. So she was a kid barely in high school and he was a grown man. I, I'm sorry. I have a problem with that. Whatever he does with women, if he cheats on women, I'm not, I don't condone cheating or nothing like that. But okay, that, that's one thing. But to do something with a little girl, a, a teenage girl, who, who, you know, she's not, she doesn't have her mind together like that yet, that they're innocent. And you're going to destroy that girl? And, and, and reports came along that she had a baby or she was pregnant by him. You know, we don't know that for sure to be true. But that's what came out. But I knew this was going to happen. I knew once that documentary ended, it, they were going to start investigating. More people were going to start coming out. And R. Kelly's 50 years old. You know. And this is what happens. But like I said before, if you're going to do it to him, do it to everybody else. And like I said in that video, I don't care what color you are. Sexual misconduct, sex with underage children, that's that's wrong. I will never agree with that. I don't care who you are. So let me know what you think about this. Make sure you like the video, comment on the video, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel.